Hi everybody, John here again. Uh, I've been putting this off for a long time, but I really need to work on <clears throat> on building this heated build platform. Uh, I've been studying a lot. I've actually been practicing on other SMD or SMT soldering techniques. And I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to go and give this a try. I've been following the wiki and trying to figure out the best way to attack this. One of the notes was to scrape these pads. I tried it on this one here but it does appear to already be scraped off. I don't know if they improved it a little bit. So I'm gonna to try to flex that pad. It seems to be sticking. So I think I'll just leave it like that. I'm not gonna to try to scrape the rest of it because I don't wanna mess anything up. And the first thing I wanna do is try to do this resistor. It is incredibly tiny. It's a 100K, 100,000 ohm resistor. And it fits right there on that pad like that. But before I do that, I'm going to grab a flux pin. You can get this at, uh, I haven't seen them at Radio Shack. I have seen them at Fry's Electronics or off the internet. So flux pin is really useful. It makes things a lot easier to solder. So you flex that pad. <clears throat> place it on there. Some tutorials will show you to first flux this pad and then uh, tin it, and then to hold down the other side and slide it in, and then just tin the other side. For this one, I'm just going to, looks like it barely even fits at all. I'm just going to touch it with the solder and hope it sticks. Give it a little bit of juice right there, not too much. Looks like it's sticking. Looks good. I'm going to flip this board around. And then try to do it on the other side. It looks like these are minimum pads. From everything I've learned, I believe there's three different sizes of pads. And this one appears to be the minimum. I don't want to cook that capacitor, or resistor, whatever it might be. So I'm just going to add a little bit more solder to make sure that it gets in there. Yeah, looks like it works. Okay. I guess I accidentally flexed that uh, antenna, that other pad, but that's not a big deal. It looks like it's on there. And something I will use to confirm that is a magnification loop of these. I'm just gonna look through these and make sure that I did in fact get that on there. Let's go for a bigger size. It's really hard to tell, the pad is so small. Really can't tell at all. Can't see anything. Okay. Let's try sliding that over just a little bit. It's not moving, so that tells me the other side's stuck as well. So when I flex this or heat this side up, it should slide over if it's not attached. So it appears to be fine. Okay. Now to move on to the LEDs. I'm only going to do these top two right here. So I don't have to get them with the other pads. And from everything I've read, these are polarized. So you want to only do one side one direction and one side the other. So it looks like there's a green tab right there and a green tab on the other side of that one. So I'm just going to do the same technique on this side. Seems to be sticking. I don't think there's enough solder there. Just gonna add a little bit of solder. It's 
Sarı Rüyamda These parts are incredibly small. I think that's on there. It doesn't seem like there's even enough space for the LEDs. It seems like they're too big already. Going on. I haven't had this problem with my practice soldering. All the pads are usually much bigger than the. Uh, actual devices and it seems like there's plenty of space in this board. I don't see why they would make it so difficult just to solder on some little components. Try to get that on there. I don't think it's sticking. Oh, might be wrong. It seems to be sticking. Now a little bit more flux, so I can add more solder. I'm using the finest point solder I could find because I heard it's supposed to be easier to work with. That solder's going somewhere. Okay, well, I hope that works. Maybe the last one will be easier. Let's go in the other direction. I'm going to heat that pad back up. Slide it on. Slide away. Okay. Put some more flex on this. Hopefully I didn't fry anything. Now last thing is to solder the power connections on. I still haven't quite figured out how to power these things through the ramps board. So I am just going to solder these two to the main power cord. We just grab some wire strippers. Okay, so that's the two. And here's the other end, already done from the Maker Gear kit. Okay, it looks like I got it all on there. Let's see if it works. It's going to plug it straight into my two, onto my power supply, <clears throat> power it up, and see what happens. Okay, all right, I'm going to back this up. So there's a fire. Everyone can see it. How about that? Let's see how this looks up with light on. Because I want to be able to show you the uh, LEDs here if they do come on. Okay, so I have... I'm going to disconnect it from my ramps just in case. My power supply. So my ramps is disconnected from my power supply. I have my power supply ready to go. I'm going to move these USB cords out of the way. In case anything catches on fire, make sure I don't have anything flammable underneath. This should just get warm for now. Okay, hooked up there. Make sure I'm set to the right voltage. I have had fires. Flip it on. Let me turn it like this. Oop, LEDs on. That's Fahrenheit. It just keeps going up and up. It's getting a little warm too. You can go over Celsius. Hey, it looks like I actually have a heated print bed working. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to stay like this until it catches on fire. But it does seem to be working. Right there in the center, I believe they usually like to go for like 110, something like that. 
So we'll just let it go up to 60 or 70 and see, and then bring it back down. In the corners, the corners already at 107 Fahrenheit, 45 degrees Celsius. Actually seems to be stabilizing for some reason. Maybe because it's only been given a certain amount of juice at once. There it goes. It's still raising up. Okay guys, so that was my very first attempt ever at doing the heated print bed. And it just takes a little bit of practice. It is intimidating, but you can do it. So go for it. Good luck.